So now let's look at what this theorem says and does not say. And what's the difference between our no arbitrage theorem and our law of one price theorem. The no arbitrage theorem says if there are no arbitrage opportunities, there exists a positive discount factor. It did not say that that is a unique discount factor, and it did not say that that discount factor is in the payoff space. So these are very different characters of discount factors. Here is an example to try and, and make clear that distinction. Here is a payoff space, x, and I drew it this way. So, uh, this payoff space, it always, one thing gains and the other thing loses. Uh, for example, excess returns have a payoff space that looks like that. You can't make money for sure. Well, what happens in this payoff space? The x star is in that payoff space. There's the unique payoff that starts the payoff space. There's the payoff space. There's the uh, unique x star. There's our law of one price guy. But our law of one price discount factor, that's negative in some states of nature. How do we form a positive one? Well, uh, use our, our ability to create lots of different discount factors. Here are discount factors that are positive that price all the payoffs in the payoff space x the same as x star. So there is the positive discount factor. It's not the same as x star. And there are multiple positive discount factors. And the positive discount factors aren't in the payoff space. The theorems just say what they say. You just have to read them carefully to see what they do and don't say. This theorem is, is uh, used um, in the following context. Uh, it's, it's actually practical, not just philosophical. Suppose you had a payoff here. You're working for an investment bank, and they say, here's the space of payoffs we know how to hedge. Uh, a client wants to buy that one. What price shall we charge the client? Well, you don't really know what price to charge the client, but you don't want to quote a price that allows arbitrage opportunities, because your clients are really smart, and they'll game you if you do that. So if you choose one of these discount factors up here, that's, a, that's consistent with these prices. And you know there's no way you can assign a price for that payoff that doesn't generate arbitrage opportunities and at least get something vaguely reasonable for what price you should charge the client.